Hello everyone, this is our official sandal. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the code 715 range module. Um, so as always, uh, if you like my videos, please support me by subscribing my channel. Uh, you can find the complete video list in video description below. Uh, this is hot problems and uh, uh, this is uh, time interval specific, specific topics. Um, so the problems ask us to design an interface to uh, store the, um, the time intervals uh, from left to right and uh, uh, we need to implement a few op operations uh, add range, remove range and cure range. Um, so we, we, we are trying to um, implement all the operation in uh, optimal ways uh, in terms of the uh, less time complexity. Um, so as examples, uh, if we add a range from 10 to 20, uh, we don't need to uh, return anything, but we need to uh, have a data structure to uh, save this time interval. Um, and the same for remove range. Uh, we previously saved 10 to 20. So here we remove from 14 to 16. So next when we queue the range from 10 to 14, uh, we return as true. Uh, so please uh, keep in note that 14 is the, the, the uh, closed space, which means the 14 is not applied. Uh, here we only need to get from 10 to 14 enclosed. Um, so next when we query is 13 to 15 uh, because we have always uh, remove uh, 14 to 15 so it should return false. All right so I think the problem is very straightforward. Let's dive into how we solve this problem. Uh, to implement the um, the operations or problems require, we need to have a uh, help functions. Uh, we here is called get overlap region here. Um, so from this picture, we can see the uh, implementation of the first part of class. We have a private uh, data structure using a hash map to uh, store the time intervals, uh, which is added. Um, here we choose to use the left, uh, which is the beginning of the time interval as the key, and the enclosed uh, the end times as the hash values. Then um, to design the, this uh, help functions, we call it get overlap regions, uh, which is due to when we given a left and right boundaries, uh, we can return all the overlap regions has already been stored in the intervals. Uh, we written the left iterator of this uh, hash map and the right iterator also is in the uh, close, close part, uh, kind of left open, right close patterns. Um, in this function, basically we are doing uh, uh, two things based on the condition. So if we can find um, the overlap regions, we return the left open and the right closed regions. If we cannot find, we return false. All right, so during the implementation, if we check whether the left open and the right open region are the same thing, which means we don't have overlap regions. Uh, let's look at the, a few examples to, uh, to see uh, what's the cases we need to consider when we design this function. Um, for example, right now uh, in the intervals, we have 0, 2, 4, 2, 5, 7, 2, 8, and the query left is one and the uh, right is six. So uh, after this uh, run this function, uh, we supposed to um, get from the first overlap regions with the query, which is 0 or two because 0, two and the uh, have an overlap part from the query from the one to two. And the right enclose with the uh, first uh, regions is not overlap with query, which is seven to eight here. Um, and the second case, um, here the query is a 
kind of in the middle of these two intervals. So we take the first overlap one, four to five. Um, and the next one, we don't have one um, region um, for the query for the three to seven, but we just return the end here. You can think about this end region here. Um, case three is similar to case two. Um, we return zero to eight and end because uh, there's no other regions after nine. Um, and uh, there's other two cases for the second condition. You cannot find any overlap one in this case because nine or ten is out of the um, the in, the in, the interval. So we return false. Uh, the same thing here if we're curing the most left uh, from the order intervals, we return false as well. Um, so yeah, if we go through the implementation and all the cases, you, you can exactly know how this code does. Um, but it's really, um, I don't have a way to uh, explain any more systematic instead of uh, testing different cases. So yeah, it would be better to memorize the whole implementation here. Uh, next, so now it's time we um, implement the query range operation. So the query range with the help functions is quite straightforward. Um, if we cannot get any overlap regions, means we don't have the intervals in the query range we return first. Um, otherwise, uh, we also check um, the, the most left one, the most right one contain all the numbers uh, in the query. A uh, couple of examples um, for the case one. So say uh, here we have the query range from seven to eight. So our overlap regions will return uh, seven to eight and end. Uh, then we check um, uh, this left open one is uh, completely uh, drop into the query range. So 7 is more than or equal to 7 and uh, 8 is greater than or equal to 8. So we return true. Um, second case, uh, we have 7 to 10. Again, we overlap region return the same uh, region. Um, however, 7 to 8 here is not completely uh, contain the 7 to 10 because the right iterator uh, 8, uh, the second here, is not greater than equal to 10. So we turn false here. Um, the third case, the Q range, uh, you contain two um, intervals. So we overlap region return 0 to 2 and end. So here again, the um, this iterator, the two here, is not uh, greater than the five here. So we will return to false. Um, the first case is the corner case. Uh, if the current totally is uh, not in cover by all the intervals. Uh, and then here, um, actually, uh, we will return uh, we will return 4 to find 4 to 5. Actually, eventually we will return false. This is typo here. Um, then we will uh, early return based on this condition here. So next one, add range. So wh what we will do in the add range, we will remove overlap range, then we add a new range uh, if needed. So here, uh, for example, the query is seven to eight. Uh, we cannot find any overlap. So here we directly add a range based on the query range here. Then a more complicated uh, case two. Uh, we can find overlap range with this query. So the overlap range return four to five and the right is the end. 
So here we are going to these um, implementations. So firstly, we will get the first regions before our writing close one, which is seven to eight. Um, then we will update Uh, we want or we update the one we want to um, removed uh, then which is the left is take the minimum one of from each left to left uh, four to five the minimum one is four and the right one is from each last to um, to the right so which is eight so here um then we will remove all the regions from uh of left open to the internet right so um which means we will remove this one and remove this one then we create a new one and here is four to eight so basically here is just we remove all the uh, intervals inside of these um, regions and create a new one to uh, basically for this case we concatenate these two ones right we concatenate four five seven to eight two four two eight um, and the third case is all, of course more obvious basically we will remove all of these things because all have this overlap in the query range and we concatenate all of them together so in, in the end, we will end up with uh, only one region, which is from zero, and extend to nine, because the Q range is not here. Um, then the next uh, is a remove range. Here is another typo here. We have a remove range here. So it's very similar to the add range. We remove overlap region and add necessary regions. Here, at most case, we need to add two, right? Because uh, we probably need to modify the left one and the right one um, based on the query range. Uh, let's look at an example here. Um, so here, we uh, have query 7 to 8, and the overlap is 7 to 8 and end. So then we find uh, the last one prior to the end one, which is 7 to 8 as well. So we identify what's the region we need to um, we need to possibly add later. Um, and also we remove the it left and it last as the what we did in the add range. Um, then here, we will identify whether uh, we are removing more numbers, which we need to get them back. Because here, we removed the region from 7 to 8, but the query is also the same way, so we don't need to add any time interval back here. So, so it ends up with the 0, 2, and the 4, and the 5. Um, and the second case, um, the query is one to five. Uh, here we will remove seven to eight and then four to five. Uh, then, however, we need to add some number back, right? Because um, we still have zero to one here. So, based on the start and end, uh, we calculate here. Um, so eventually we need to. Uh, because the start uh, is zeros, uh, smaller than left, one. So we need to add in one range back, uh, which is zero to one here. Uh, case three, we remove something is not in our intervals. Um, so here we will return uh, in overlap region function, 7 to A, 7 to A, actually, uh, it will return false for us. Then eventually, 
we will only return from here because we cannot find any region we want to remove. Uh, so it ends up with the original one, 72A and 72A. All right, yeah, that's the, all of the uh, implementation. Uh, you can find the complete codes below uh, in my blog. And uh, I want to give the credit to another YouTuber, Hua Hua. Uh, basically, uh, most of the code ideas I uh, learned from his blog as well. Um, so here I, I uh, show the uh, running time and the memory use. You can compile with uh, your own code. Uh, so all of the operation should be in the uh, complex complexity as log n because we do some uh, binary search and uh, the hash map uh, erase. Uh, those are all the big of log n uh, complexity.